Hello students, welcome to one more amazing session from Infinity Land. This is Suresh, Faculty of Chemistry. Today we are going to discuss about Gibbs free energy change and uh, Gibbs free energy change and electrode potential. It is very important topic in electrochemistry. You will be getting one question from this particular topic and get ready to score four more marks in your NEET examination. So, before going for that, I just want to mention India's largest scholarship examination that is a score examination and this score examination can be attempted by any student from the grade 3 to grade 4 which is a completely online examination and you can sit at your home and you can attempt this score examination and why this score examination is said to be India's largest scholarship examination because it gives you a scholarship worth of 1 crore rupees and also you will be given a study laptop and a study setup and also educational allowances and up to 100 percent scholarship. And while late in the description box this score examination link is available and you click it and enroll it and try to get, grab all these facilities that are available here. Score registrations are up and you can enjoy the scholarship. And one more important point I just want to mention NEET 2025 All India Test Series Pack. And this test series pack 23 AITS examinations are there in which 13 unit test and 4 part test and 10 grant test based on NEET pattern and also 20 online NEET full syllabus mock tests are available and 25 NEET topic wise PYQs are available and 3 physics chemistry books along with video solutions are available and detailed solutions along with your performance analytics and your score is going to be benchmarked with the Sri Chaitanya students for rank predictions and all. And this is these many facilities are coming for 5099 rupees and for a special discount in infinity line is offering you 2999 and this much cheaper nobody is going to give in India and that limited time is offer when you apply the coupon code U250 off. Then only you are going to get this offer, right? So all the best for your NEET examination aspirants and you enjoy this NEET test series pack. And before going for that and I just want to mention here Gibbs free energy. What is Gibbs free energy? The energy of a system whose value is decreasing is actually useful for its work done that is gibbs free energy and the change should be negative then only its energy is decreased then only the reaction is going to be spontaneous and how it is related to that equilibrium constant and is related to gibbs free energy change and electrode potential so delta g is equal to delta g naught plus rt ln q and q is reaction quotient Gibbs free energy change at conditions and the standard Gibbs free energy change means it is at standard conditions. For this at equilibrium, so QC is going to be Q is going to be KC and KC as you know for a reaction A plus B gives rise to C plus D and C D upon A B active masses is said to be Q. When the state of equilibrium is there, QC become KC then delta G is going to be 0 and that state is said to be equilibrium. So, that 0 is equal delta G naught plus RT ln Q and you take this G naught this side delta G naught is equal to minus RT ln Q mean to say ln Q means it is ln KC. So, delta G naught is equal to minus RT ln KC that is equilibrium constant and that RT values are taken in the standard state delta G naught is equal to Gibbs free energy change is equal to minus NF E naught. That is F is four days constant 96,500 coulombs and N is the number of electrons involved in that redox change in the electrochemical cell and delta G this is at standard condition this is at a given conditions delta G is equal to minus NF E cell. But you see that delta G is equal to delta G naught plus R10 ln Q what we have seen so far and this delta G is said to be minus N of E cell L EMF of the cell and delta G naught is equal to minus N of E naught cell plus RT ln Q and 
you take f is getting cancelled over here and ESL is going to be E naught cell minus RT by NF ln Q. R value is a gas constant and T is the temperature and N is the number of electrons. F is the Faraday's constant and you apply all this constant here you are going to see E cell is equal to E naught cell minus 0 0.0591 by number of electrons involved ln Q. This is actually what you say the Nernst equation. The Nernst equation is actually derived from thermodynamics Gibbs free energy change mind it and at equilibrium delta G is equal to 0 and delta G is equal to minus E naught cell and E cell is going to be 0. If the cell is at the spontaneous delta G is negative and EMF is going to be positive. At equilibrium delta G and EMF both are going to be negative. And at a equilibrium cell is completely discharged it will stop on functioning it will not give any generation of energy. According to Nernst equation E is equal to E naught cell minus 0 0.0591 by N log equilibrium K equilibrium. So, at equilibrium EMF of the cell is equal to 0 therefore, 0 is equal to E naught minus 0 0.0591 and by N into log k equilibrium and E naught cell is equal to 0 0.0591 by N log equilibrium. So, that log equilibrium is equal to N E naught cell by 0 0.0591. So, by using this formula you can directly calculate the equilibrium constant and also gives free energy change from here. And based on this you will be asking a question, you are asked to calculate electrode potential of copper plus 2 copper and given that 2 plus 2 copper is given 0 0.337 and uh, copper 2 plus 2 copper is given as 0 0.153. So, how to solve this question given this is given and you are asked to calculate this is the target I mean to say copper 2 plus gives rise copper plus copper plus gives rise copper and it is given that copper 2 plus to 2 electrons I mean to say and this is given okay 0 0.337 is given and copper 2 plus electron is given that is 0 0.153 is given and copper plus to copper you are asked how to calculate and electrode potential values are not additive values. But Gibbs free energy change values are going to be additive values. So, I want to say let us see this value here delta G1 and delta G2 and it is going to be delta G3. So, delta G3 can be equated to delta G1 plus delta G2. So, based on that you can say delta G3 is equal to delta G1 minus delta G2 and taking the two electrons over here taking the one electron over here f is getting cancelled and 0 0.337 is multiplied with the 2 plus uh, 0 0.153 is added and on doing so this is going to be 0 0.521 volts is the answer for this kind of question and particular this formula based on this you do expect a question from the neat examination so far this formula so far in the NEET examination as well as on the other competitive examination, two, three times the question has been asked. You can understand the importance of this formula and just explore some more questions based on this particular Gibbs free energy change and electrode potential concept. And hope you enjoyed this class and take so many questions from any material and you can solve it and try to grab four marks based on this question. And please like this session share with your friends and subscribe to infinity lane channel thank you very much thank you